Climate change is posing one of the biggest threats to India's food security. Heat waves, droughts and heavy rains wreaking havoc on crop production in India this year. In our continuing series on the impact of climate change in India, Rebecca Bundan heads to the rural areas of the state of Maharashtra in western India. She meets farmers concerned that weather conditions are becoming more extreme and unpredictable. Farmer Santosh Barade grows produce including soybean, tomatoes and cauliflower. He says that exceptionally heavy rains in recent weeks have destroyed many of his crops. Torrential rain is a common occurrence during India's monsoon season, which runs annually from June to September. But Mr. Barade says that Nasik, a farming district a few hours by road from Mumbai, saw unusually high levels of rainfall this year, with unexpected downpours afterwards in October too. But this year, महाराष्ट्र में इतना 50 साल के बाद इतना बड़ा बारिश हुआ है अभी तक इतना बड़ा बारिश मैंने मेरे लाइफ में भी कभी देखा नहीं इतना बारिश हुआ इधर इस इसकी बारिश की वजह से इधर पूरे किसान लोग जो है उनका बहुत बड़ा नुकसान हुआ है Many parts of India have been affected by extreme weather conditions A heat wave in North India earlier this year impacted production of staples including wheat and rice this prompted the government's eventual decision to impose export curbs in an effort to ensure sufficient supplies and keep a lid on rising prices for the local population. What we've seen is across commodities, they have a negative correlation with the increase in temperature. So the yields have a negative correlation, so the yields are likely to decline. Environmental scientists have long warned of severe consequences if temperatures globally rise more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. In agricultural terms, the UN says that for each one degree increase globally, grain yields fall by 5%. And this is a risk to India's food security. India is set to overtake China to become the world's most populous country next year with 1.4 billion people. But it is still facing challenges with malnutrition. The International Food Policy Research Institute forecasts that some 90 million people in India will be at risk of hunger by 2030. That's up by 23% on what the figure would have been were it not for climate change. Farmer Jagannath Gaikar says that extreme weather patterns this year have more than halved his crop yields. <laughs> India aims to achieve its net zero target by 2070, but beyond taking steps to reduce carbon emissions to try to slow global warming, analysts say that India has to work on ways to ramp up its agricultural output to ensure its food security. To do this, India needs to increase its use of farm equipment, hybrid seeds and fertilizers, which are all lagging behind other countries. Some farmers are making use of technology to help boost productivity. These include smartphone apps, which provide interactive guidance from experts and weather forecast information. It's been helpful, but analysts say the problems faced by farmers need to be addressed on a bigger scale. So there is significant headroom to increase the yield and I believe that that's the way forward. Uh, climate change is something that is here to stay and we need to find out ways how we can combat them to not just serve our needs but ensure that some of our partners that we are supplying these commodities to globally, we can serve their needs as well. As many farmers in India wage what appears to be a losing battle against changing weather conditions, finding ways to better grow crops while the sun shines is serious food for thought for both the farmers themselves and decision makers to safeguard basic food security for the country. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Maharashtra.